up, good people? Today is Two Minute Tip Tuesday. Let's get into this video. I'm gonna talk about the winter tire pressure. For every 10 degrees, that's one pound loss of air in your tire. So if it's dropping down to 20 degrees, you're losing two pounds of uh, air pressure. And now, guess what you're doing? You getting in the car in the morning, you crank it up, and you're like, all right, cool. You see the little tight indicator light, and then you get in the car again, you're like, God darn it! Some air and go to work. Or you gotta get air when you get off work. And you like mad. So you gotta go to YY, and you trying to pick out putting 35 PSI back in the car. No, do not do that. The tire recommendation says put five extra PSI into the car. So, especially in the winter time, so the PSI drops for every 10 degrees. The air does not escape out of the uh, tire. It's just less condensed and it's taking up less space. So you're losing that pound when the weather drops. So you're looking like, dang, hold on. So yeah, you just put like 40 PSI. So if your car takes in 30 PSI, you just put 35 and it wouldn't damage your tire at all. Or if it's taking 35, you could put 40 and wouldn't damage the car. That's what the tire recommendation says. You're gonna lose air due to the weather dropping, but yes, your tires do warm up and they do increase your PSI. But that's for them days that you ain't gotta worry about keep going back and forth to the air pump or taking it into the dealership and you're like, yo, my tire you lose the air and you thinking you got a hole in your tire and the whole time you don't. But this is it. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. But if you're not part of our speed fam, go ahead and subscribe. And yo, welcome to the family. I look forward to seeing you next video.